be hello. It's gonna be H HTCB, and then we also have Immortals. It's a best of three winners bracket. So once all teams ready up, we will get right into it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So you're going into a map on consulate. You haven't played a game in about a week, I believe. They haven't. Who do you mm -hmm. ban? Like, who are you going to ban? If you haven't really studied um, your players. Not saying they haven't studied, but who are you going to ban? I would probably go for a safe bet. You know, an operator that you know that, you know, can really uh, impact, impact the game in a positive way for your team and benefit your team. Right, which I, I couldn't agree with you more there. But um, it looks like we're just waiting on Homeshot and Quain. Or, yeah, Quain. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but <laughs> for now that's what it's called. <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> Alright, just waiting for one more. And it looks like we are ready, and it is 9 o'clock, so... Let's get it started. So, you know, it's... It's a consulate. I'm thinking maybe... Definitely a Blackbeard ban. You know, repelling up on the windows. Need... If yeah. you opt to go upstairs. But, um... You know, both teams... I... We haven't found really any Blackbeard bans from them, so... Maybe a jackal. That would be more common with both of their play styles. Who to ban? A thermite. Oh, but they're actually going to ban a thermite. I'm guessing that's probably just for garage wall. I don't know what else they're going to thermite. Um, you could definitely Maybe go a for a thermite under the yellow stairs. Um, oh on yeah, that you're right. Half wall, pushing up the second on second floor objective. Def there's the Blackbeard ban. You definitely so, called it. Very, very, a very yeah. powerful operator repelling on those windows. He really is. And this map, with it being so big, if the diffuser's like lost somewhere, I would definitely ban a lesion. So you know you could run there and grab it and not have any content. Immortals anyone is contesting known to it. Ban lesion. Immortals has been known they to ban really... lesion. An Echo, Echo right. ban. Which is understandable. It's a big map. Echo could run all the way downstairs and hide mm -hmm. and he'd just play his drones as long as they you know don't bring an iq but definitely one of the strongest plant denial both teams are pretty big with uh banning lesions so we'll see what happens here it's gonna be a pulse ban which i mean is pretty good all the floors are soft i believe i believe under every site you can throw a c4 up and I mean, heck, you can even throw a C4 above garage and shoot them when they're planting. Just break the floor, and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think we're allowed to... Okay, there we go. He, switch, he opts to switch from the Nook to the Nomad. Now, they're opting to go cafeteria and garage first. Do you think they're trying to just... Maybe get the early round win after banning the thermite. They think they can just ban to trick the habanas, which I mean, it's not that hard to ban the habanas. But what do you think? Yeah, there? they they could be trying to throw off, throw them off there. You know, most people would definitely expect a second floor hold first, but garage is definitely the second str second strongest objective. I can definitely see why they would maybe want to go for uh, a hold there. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially, you know, having an Ella with a shotgun. She could take control of yellow stairs her whole self by herself. And then you have Castle. He can put his castle barricades uh, on the A door, yellow doorway. What she's doing now on the A door, and he's already put one on the yellow doorway. He could put it in the um the double door. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch Maestro where he's gonna put his uh, cams at. I will come back to him. <laughs> ah, I don't know if Bandit's gonna opt to Bandit trick. So 
so is Lion just recently being added at the beginning of this Summer Cup. What are you expecting from him? Big plays? Or just another uh, operator? I think they're going to definitely try to use him to their advantage. Um, I definitely think that he's going to try and go uh, and use his utility as best as he can. Because he has a lot of utility with the flash, with the flashbangs of the Claymore. And with just a EE1Ds going off, you know what I plan? That's very, very powerful. Exactly, and you're already going to see Jackal pushing in through admin windows. It doesn't really look like there's much of a roam game, as I believe the only roamer oops, is Jaeger. Yeah, and he's on the first floor, right next to bathroom. So Nomad and Jackal have easy, have easily secured upstairs, and they will find the Jaeger's footprints. Not looking good for Jaeger right now. Looks like Maestro is going to get in a gunfight. Oh no, he's just going to shoot at the barricade. Honestly, I'm kind of... Oh, you're going to have Ella next to Archives. That's not bad, because she could potentially flank on the two hatches that are in Archives in the Archives closet. Mm -hmm. She will get taken, uh, spotted by the E1D there, downstairs. And it looks like the lion's definitely gonna push it, but oh, he's gonna drone her out. She chooses not to push up, which would have been a nice play. <laughs> but no. Oh, you're gonna see lion get the early fret. Well, not early, but with a minute remaining, gonna kill the Ella on spiral staircase. Lion's gonna kill the. Maestro and Kitchen from the stairs. Like we said before this round. Oh, Castle's gonna get the frag onto Nomad from Yellow Stairs, and Jaeger's gonna get another one onto the Jackal. Bandit's gonna kill Habana. Oh, Cass. Oh, sorry. My mic cut out for a second. But, um. So it is a 2v1. The Thatcher, it's still doable, but he is on little to none HP. Uh, never mind, he's got 30 HP, and the camera watching him is gone. But I believe he still has to... Nope, he does not have to deal with any C4s or any kind of traps. But there's 15 seconds, and he doesn't have Diffuser. I don't think he really knows where the players are. He's going to peek out into the desk and kill him. That was a very I mean, nice was solid hold there. Overall, I mean, there's a scoreboard after round one. That was a really nice round, especially with Castle, and then I believe it was the Jaeger who just basically got a kill, and then Jaeger got the kill, and then Castle got the kill, and Jaeger got the kill. It's like, all right, I got you. I'm a one-up you though with this one. <laughs> Which I mean, these are both really dominant teams. So yeah. I mean. It could easily be a 4-2 split, and then one team bring it back to where we're seeing overtime. Looks like the defenders are going to not keep Bandit's the same lineup. <laughs> Correct me. Jeez. Uh, they're going to bring a Valkyrie Bandit. this time, and you can throw the Valk cams in the palm trees outside. I mean, they're going to bring a lesion this time, which honestly isn't that bad. You could possibly throw lesions on a, uh, on like the second level, uh, coming up the staircase on the yellow stairs. And you could like sit behind the cinder block wall and then just peek through the railings. Or if you opt, yeah. uh, uh, he's thrown it on the first, but yeah, he could sit right there and then just wait for them to come up and peek them. Cause the attackers didn't bring a Twitch or an IQ, so they're either going to run through it or they're going to have to look down at it and shoot it or they'll drone it out and shoot it. Yeah. So it was definitely a smart idea to the six pick to the Valkyrie, kind of making him a little bit, you know, more stealthy with the pick. Maybe they won't notice it straight away or the, they weren't expecting it. That's why they didn't bring the IQ straight away. So definitely a smart oh, yeah. play to six pick to the Valkyrie. <laughs> 
And I do like that Nomad spot because you Lion, he places the Claymore at Yellow Stairs Doorway. And then, you know, if they opt to impact nade the garage wall and run out, they'll get caught by that Nomad. Which is a really smart idea. This is also where Blackbeard would have been very, very powerful up on those windows peeking into the council office. Definitely oh, yeah, gonna definitely. be missing him. And yeah, it looks like Legion did opt to sit on that yellow staircase. Oh, he's actually got the Playing shotgun. The shotgun. Very, very quite. I think that's a very questionable play. Definitely could definitely it could definitely work out for him. Oh yeah, I mean the shotgun. Hey, if it works for them, it works for them. We'll just have to see really what their strat is with it. Legion could definitely be very powerful on the uh, yellow staircase with all the goo mines down below and above. So if he gets pushed, you know, he can just, you know, wait for them to hit the goo mine and then peek him. He's going to see the red footprints of the Jaeger. I don't think IT knows that it's a jackal. He might meet his demise here. Oh, he's going to get jackal oh, he tracked. He's going to opt to push back. They're about to in Oh. But he does have Legion watching that yellow staircase. He could he could easily bait Legion. Or not. <laughs> he could easily bait it and get an easy kill for the Legion if Jackal decides to opt and run up there. Definitely a possibility. Looks like they're just burning the ADSs here. Maybe for Sledge to throw his nades in, which he's doing now. Looks like nobody's actually in a Looks like Maestro's well. getting uh Oh, Habana's gonna pick up the kill on the Maestro in admin. Castle's gonna instantly refrag though on the Nomad. Oh, Castle Barricade. But she does still have all three of her... Well, I don't think she sees him in Printer. Ooh, Habana's gonna get the kill on the Valkyrie in Printer. And Jack was gonna get another frag onto the Valkyrie. Er, sorry, Jaeger. Nice, Shackle with a double kill, killing Castle and Connector, and I think that's going to secure the plant for Habana here. This Legion does have a shot. Oh, good job. That was a really good round from both teams. That was a very, that was a very nice attack with home shot getting into office and getting a nice 2k. Oh yeah, and I like how they opt to bring that sledge. Because it can really help you, like, you know, soft destruction. But it's also a has the ability to take out maestro cams and stuff like that. Yeah, Sludge definitely has utility whenever facing up against, you know, barbed wire, castle barricades, you know, maestro cameras. It can really just be very, you know, very, very versatile. And the fact that he does have frag grenades really also just boosts up his utility overall, I'd say. So, we're going to see a gridlock instead of lion. We're actually going to see a twitch and a smoke being brought out. Wait, maybe not a gridlock? Yeah. Maybe? <laughs> oh, yeah. Castle sick picking. Oh, castle, the castle, wow. castle. 200 IQ. <laughs> Don't think I've ever, kid, I've ever expect, expected a more, you know, smart, smart play right there. Right. So, you know, you have smoke, you have that shotgun, which is better than Legion's. I don't think Legion's gonna bring the shotgun. No, he's not. So, I mean, yeah, you give the shotgun to smoke, and you have him potentially sit in B, open. And then Legion has the impact grenades for rotations as well. Exactly, and you have him opening that wall like he's doing, and he can watch Yellow Stairs, or have Maestro sit back and watch Yellow Stairs as Castle could opt to put his armor panels on the west windows of sight. But I don't think also, display has a nice angle from yellow stairs under the windows from the repellent. Which I mean, so far we've really seen. I mean, I know it's only been three rounds, but we're seeing a really close game. Just so far, trading rounds. But I mean, this is the quarterfinals, so what else can you expect? They're two really good teams who work to get here, and now they're trying to fight to stay here. Yes, definitely. They both earned it. Earned def they both definitely earned it being here. 
Ooh, Twitch might get the Maestro camp. Oh no, Jaeger's gonna get a drum. Oh, no, I actually think that was Castle. Yeah, it was. Hey guys, if you're just tuning in, we do have HTCB versus Immortals best of three winners bracket. It's it's a really good game so far. Ooh, Habana's gonna pick up the kill on the Maestro again, but Legion's gonna refrag and kill the Jackal, which is great for the Jaeger, so he can roam freely now. And he doesn't really have to worry about that Nomad anymore. So he can do any run out that, he wants. Losing that Maestro early definitely will hurt will definitely will hurt them though. For the, the long game. Oh yeah, it really will, but they do still have Legion and Smokes on the board. So, you know, they're both still annoying operators, as Jaeger's still just sitting in lobby. I don't think anyone's near her. No, I think he was going with the Twitch, and that's when the Twitch jumped out of uh, Visa. We're going to see Twitch hit a Legion, but I don't think anyone can push on that due to the fact that it's castled at the top of the staircase. Ooh. Gridlock's gonna pick up the kill on the smoke, with, but with a minute remaining, that's not really good, but you do still have that lesion to provide. Oh, Twitch almost caught Jaeger on the rotate back to sight. I don't even think Jaeger noticed. No, I don't think he noticed that she was downstairs. Gridlock's gonna get another kill in the castle, though. Oh, Gridlock's gonna get a triple yes, kill. Shots there. And Twitch is going to get the final kill. Which is a really... They really showed themselves that round, which was really good. It was just that was unfortunate. A, that was a nice push by HTCB. You know, losing your maestro with a minute and 40 left on the clock. Maybe... I mean, it's the second round in a row that that's happened. Maybe opt to play someone else or put someone else in that room and hopefully get better results you know maestro is a bit safer but you know they can go back to the garage where they've won so we'll see what they do yeah it definitely definitely seems like immortal is being a little bit more passive and being very very patient as a jaeger held a nice angle um in the main entrance for uh, i want to say about 30 to 45 seconds of that round there so i feel like they're just being a little bit too patient and passive right now i think like if they get more aggressive i think they can start picking up these frags more Oh yeah, definitely. You can really notice a difference if you change the way you're going. And the Blitz is going to six-pick onto the Maverick. But, like, if you're playing, you know, passive, then, you know, you're just running in, trying to retake sight. But if you play aggressive all of a sudden, they, it can really just change the round. going up. Yeah, and it seems like they're losing high-utility operators just really quickly as they lost the Maestro and the Smoke uh, first. Uh, and smoke. They lost smoke about a minute with about a minute left, and Maestro was about wait, like a minute and thirty-two minutes left. So it seems like really they're just they're giving they're they're giving up their high utility operators a little bit too early in the rounds, and that's kind of hurting them in the late game. Exactly, and with them able to play garage again, if they win it, do you think they will opt to go back upstairs, or are they going to you know maybe choose one of the off sites like the archives and Visa, or maybe? Um, I think I we could definitely see a first floor attempt, uh, a first floor hold, the main the main lobby entrance hold from them. Uh, they try, maybe try to throw off. Uh, oh yeah, TCB. definitely. I couldn't agree with you more. In the maestro cam that we saw, that's actually a really good one, as it can see your feet if you're like you know going for a plant. Uh, behind the white van, it'll still be able to shoot you as long as Maestro's still alive and able to do so. Yeah. Looks like Sledge is just gonna push up the second floor, maybe clear out any roamers, but it looks like Jackal's already in, so the roam game with them is a little bit... Seems like Immortals is having a hard time really getting a nice and heavy roam. They have a nice uh, presence downstairs in, in uh, archives, but other than that, yeah, other than they're that, having they're a just... tough time really roaming upstairs. Which, I mean, it's interesting because, you know, as you can see above, they have the sledge. So the sledge can just destroy all the bandits for the Habana and then watch it so nothing, so there's no bandit tricking. 
Wow, Ella's gonna get the frag on the Maverick. I believe that was through the floor. Maybe through a Maverick hole. But Jackal's gonna get another refrag onto the Maestro, and then Bandit's gonna refrag and kill the Sludge. Bandit's gonna get a second kill onto the Twitch on the yellow stairs. Oh, Jackal's gonna get killed by Ella on Spiral Staircase. He didn't even know. Alright. Are we gonna see a clutch? Ooh, she's gonna pick off the Legion coming out of yellow stairs. Nice shot. Doesn't look like they opted to shoot the bandits from above, so Habana might have to push for the hatch if it's open. I believe Maverick got it open, or she'll have to push uh, down yellow stairs or spiral stairs. But there is an Ella on spiral stairs, and then Ella herself is actually sitting on yellow stairs at the doorway. Maybe Habana that can shot catch her off guard. Be really deadly. Habana might that catch her off guard. Really right there. Oh no, unfortunate, but she knows where she went, but Ella has that shotgun, and that shotgun is really overpowered. So she's doing the smart thing and not contesting it, going back farther, and she will get another kill as she kills the Ella. Don't think Jaeger knows Only where 15 she seconds is, down. but she's not really visible. She's just gonna opt for a plant. Jaeger's gonna run in the doorway and probably just frag her out. Yep, he will. Good attempt Which... there by home shot, but just could not get it done. Yeah, I mean, it was really good on both sides. Definitely smart by Immortals just to sit there and wait for the plant, being that home shot really did not have very much time at all left on the clock. He had to get the plant down, and he, he had to try to kill two people in five seconds, so he had to go for the plant. So maybe do you think the Maestro is because of the Echo Band? Maybe they play Echo more instead of the Maestro? So it's like, oh, well, we don't have Echo, so I'm going to just play Maestro. He does have those 81 bull the 81 bullets, I believe, or 100, and he, could, he can easily take out uh, people in admin like they choose, like the first two rounds but he couldn't land the shots so I'm thinking maybe it's just because of the echo ban they're used to playing echo more that definitely could have thrown them off it just seems like right now they're having a, just a tough time really just uh, bringing the maestro and using him to his full effectiveness uh, yeah I couldn't agree with you more let's see if we can see where else she opts to throw her Valk cams because we can't see them Unless a player is looking at him. So we'll see if she's gonna let us. Alright, she's gonna do the default throw out one. Maybe even two. Maybe make one noticeable and ping off that one and let them shoot it. Make them think, oh, well, we got it. And then, you know, they have that other one. Definitely a possibility there. Definitely. And it looks like Maestro might opt to just play in the bathroom as he's reinforcing all the outer walls. Oh, Ying's gonna get picked off early, trying to contest the Vigil on service stairs. That's a really nice pick right there. It's a lot of utility, and he's gonna get another one, too. That is a nice Valkam. Oh, yeah, see, she did opt to bring two. And with Valk being your only roamer upstairs. Oh, nope, Jaeger has come to join her, and it looks like Sledge is gonna be pushing the same angle this time. Uh, the windows of console. I don't think Falk has a cam in there. Reloading. Those are some pretty nice Valkyrie cameras right there from the Valkyrie. Oh yeah, they really are. Oh, Gridlock could get the kill on the Valkyrie. Alright, so you have three people upstairs. Of... HTCB? Oh, Valkyrie's gonna frag out on the Jackal. But I don't think she knows that gridlocks at long desk. Looks like Habana's gonna get lit in a gun. Oh, Habana's gonna be injured. I don't think you can fall off the roof, but I don't really see anyone near her. Huh. 
I don't think she's going to pick up, but Gridlock is going to get the kill on the Valkyrie, which is the only C4 down. And the only roamer left is Jaeger on yellow stairs, but it looks like he's opting to push back. Looks like they're going to have a def uh, the Immortals definitely having the health advantage right now and the min advantage and a 4-3. Four, uh, four definitely having a nice uh, presence upstairs though that for this round. Oh yeah, and definitely. And you still have that dock with the three stems. So this could really go anyway, even if they do get a couple shots off. It's like, bam, hey, we're back at 100 HP. Alright, let's... Jaeger's gonna get the kill on the Habana finally, but Doc's gonna kill Gridlock through the hatch. I don't think they know that Sludge is upstairs as well. Oh, never mind, they know now. <laughs> Immortals definitely did flip a switch though. After last round, not really, uh, you know, still getting picks off, you know, not having a heavy, heavy roam. Doc's gonna get uh, another kill onto the sledge. Definitely got a nice roam upstairs though. That was a nice hold upstairs by Immortals. Yeah, it's like it clicked with them. Like, hey, we need a hold upstairs. They're getting control of it way too fast. And we see, we just saw what happened once they took control of everything. And I mean, they're going to opt to go back upstairs because they can't go garage and they can't go first floor. I don't think they, they might not think it's the best idea to go into split floor. Ooh, we're going to see an alibi being brought out this time and a Mira. And the Nomad is back. <laughs> Ooh, alibi is going to be six pick to Jaeger. I think that's definitely a smarter six pick. Jaeger's ADSs can be very, very helpful, especially on the mirror. You know, to maybe if they're trying to nade the mirror out from behind a mirror, you know, Jaeger's ADS, place it down right behind the mirror, and they can't really do that. Exactly. And if she opts to put a mirror on here, well, they do have a castle, so they could castle the window, but I think they're going to stick to putting it in the bathroom. I think that's why she's running all the way down there. Maybe see an even heavier... Um, administration office hold. I mean, you had the maestro in there the first two rounds, and it didn't really work out. But now it's like, hey, yeah. I'm behind a mirror. You can't shoot me, but I can see you. And, and they giving also out have a cam in there too. Exactly. Yeah, they also, they also have a nice Valkyrie camera in there too for the information. Yeah, Val could easily go below late. You know, have Vigil open one of the or Castle open one of the hatches. Looks like Valkyrie's gonna take some damage from an impact hole. But only 10 HP. I think they're gonna opt to push through Visa office again. Which I mean it's not a bad push, because I don't think they're watching no, they're not watching the hatch, so I don't really think they have any con yeah, home. contention with them. Home shot. Homeshot is repelling back up on those windows again. He's been doing that. For, I think every time they go upstairs, he always goes and ends up repelling up on those windows, uh, looking at the office. But now he can definitely try to shoot his mirrors onto the or his uh, Habana's excarpels onto the mirror itself. Right. I mean, you really can't out. blame him because it's worked out for him every round. And you're gonna see Jaeger get the kill on the jackal. I believe he was repelling. Oh, Mirror is gonna get a little bit aggressive. Oh, she's gonna get killed by the sledge grenades. You called it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what happened to the Jaeger ADS. I guess maybe I don't know where he placed it down, but it didn't end up saving Mira's life in, in the end, unfortunately. What you mean, Mira herself is not really a beneficial operator on this map? But that is your C4 gone. And Jaeger's gonna get lit up by the Nomad, and Nomad's gonna take a couple shots and get to 50 HP. Gridlock's gonna come around the corner though on the service stairs and kill the Jaeger. A flurry of kills. <laughs> Sledge is gonna kill the castle, and then the last one remaining is the Valkyrie. I think she still does have her C4 though. Oh, she's gonna peek on service stairs to the no or to the Gridlock. This is gonna be a tough uh, retake for her. She's 60 HP and the plant is going down. Maybe run under sight and opt to throw a C4. I mean, the plant's already down now, so 
maybe you can uh, get one if you're lucky too. But she doesn't see the sledge at the bottom of the yellow stairs, and the sledge will pick her off. Really nice plays. They really took control of sight and made it an even 3 3 split. And you got Queen going 7 and 4. All together, especially. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, everyone's doing their own part, basically. Which, I mean, it's really nice. Well, we're going to see a switch here. Oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> Okay, no, it switched. Sorry, I was I was so confused. I was like, wait a second. It didn't switch. Dash switching onto the IQ definitely could be helped. Uh, definitely could be useful being that they're bringing an Ella and a Legion. Uh, and the Montane could also definitely be a big, big help to uh, to Immortals push here. As um, we're going to see, we are going to see HTCB going up on second floor. So, we'll see if they can end up winning the second floor because... Um, Immortals did not win a single round going upstairs. They had a really tough time defending the top floor. Let's see if it carries over to uh, HCC, HCCB's de defense here. Oh yeah, and you have the IQ. If she gets control of Undersight, you might as well say goodbye to all the Jaeger Mines, all, Jaeger Mines, all the ADSs, all the Ella Mines, maybe even a pre-placed smoke, all your lesions. And the bandits that are on the wall at long desk, if you opt to place them there. And the Twitch can also help out too with the Legion Mines if needed, because uh, if if she can keep her drones alive th throughout the prep phase, and I, I don't, I believe they, I believe she did. Uh, that's also a lot of utility still for her as well. It's like Monty might push through console office. I'm gonna take a couple shots to the rotate window, connector window. So you have this standard, oh wow, I don't think I've ever seen that wall being opened. But home shot is going to pick up the kill on the Habano, which is unfortunate, but as we just saw, yellow wall is soft and already does have a vault hole through it. Bathroom has a rotate. Looks like Monty's going to get in a gunfight. No. That Habana uh, getting taken off the board early definitely will hurt. Um, immortals on their attack being that um, they don't have any hard breacher anymore so they're just gonna have to try to go for a, a push in just straight up oh yeah definitely and I don't think HTCB is gonna opt to bring any roamers I think that, well they really don't need any roamers because there's not a buck but you I think you might want someone to do that late flank just in case Ooh, Jackal's gonna get the kill onto the Legion, and IQ's gonna pick off the Bandit, all in admin. Ooh. Ella is downstairs, IQ. I don't think IQ knows. Oh. This could be an easy kill her here for the Ella. Ooh, she's gonna get the double kill while picking off the Ella. So she's evened it out with Jackal. They've made it a 2v4. Well, they've really turned the ties. And Jackal's gonna get the track onto the smoke. Sorry, Jaeger. He baited him, and the diffuser is down in that sight. Is... Yeah. Oh, Twitch is gonna instantly refrag it, though, and pick up the Jaeger. And the plant's gonna go down with your smoke being on yellow stairs. It's doable, but you have two smokes. You can smoke out the Monty, but you have to throw it behind him. And you do have IQ rushing up yellow stairs to help her teammates. Monty's gonna knife him. Oh, oh. Good job. That was a nice push by the Montane. I, I always find it satisfying when Monty gets a knife kill. It's definitely not the easiest thing to do. No, because when someone knifes your shield, the shield just goes whoop. Oh, so it looks like we're yeah. going to have a garage and cafeteria this time. That was definitely a nice bring back though by Immortals, especially being that they did lose their Habana early, but they ended up bringing it back by just getting off, getting the, you know the the tough frags and just bringing it back. Now they uh, now they are looking good. It's gonna be a garage hold though for HTCB. Gonna try to switch it up, I guess. 
see if they have the same success that Immortals did on the garage. Yeah, we will see. And it looks like the only plant that I'll have is smoke. So, it's well, interesting. Because, you know, Immortals opted to bring Legion, or well, not Legion, uh, Maestro, which he has two cams that I think each shock does five damage. You can kill the planter if you get every single shot landed on with the Maestro camera. But they're they're not bringing any uh, three armors here, so looks like they're opting for more roam heavy. Oh yeah. Um, they're reinforcing Visa hacks. Ah, maybe to make a road. I see. Maybe like they're going to be holding Visa from above. Maybe. I mean, that way, if someone's sitting there, since they're watching the hatch, if someone's sitting there, they have nowhere else to go, and you're going to have to shoot at them again. Which means it's a brilliant idea. And it looks like we're going to see a heavy roam game from them, as all the hatches upstairs are going to be blown. Reloading. But who's it for? <laughs> looks like we have all five down on site right now. I don't see anyone roaming. I mean, maybe it's to throw them off. You know, Ooh, open that That's hatch, a like... nice peek right there from the Jaeger through that drone hole, nearly seeing the head of IQ, I believe. Oh, yeah. I don't really think I've seen anyone actually get a kill from that, though, as a defender. It looks like it'd be very difficult, but it looks like it could potentially get you a kill, which would be crazy to see. see where the shock drone is going just looking for roamers Do you have Monty on the rappel also you know, they, they could have been doing that they could have been doing that just to stall really. exactly now it's bought 15 20 seconds and I don't think they fully droned upstairs as Monty has his shield fully deployed going upstairs Ooh, home shot will get the kill on the Habana but the smoke's gonna get lit up in the process. It looks like uh, Mortals already has control of top floor and first floor though, and they will get straight into piano and start scanning for roamers. Ooh. Oh no, Jack was gonna down him with the ITA through the floor. And that's unfortunate because that is your smoke and your only plant denial down. Oh wait, Bandit still has a nope, he already killed the Habana with it. But they don't have any entrance into sight except yellow stairs, spiral stairs, and service stairs. So they have to come down one of the staircases so they could just hide. And wait, with only 57 seconds left on the clock. Ooh, Dom is gonna get the kill onto the Twitch. And then Quain, ooh, IQ's gonna fall as well. But Jackal is going to be next to the piano in the lobby. I don't think Ella knows. Jackal definitely needs to get this refrag onto the Ella. Oh, he does get the Ella? Well. You got 28 seconds and one Jackal track. Oh, Jaeger's going to get him through the hatch. Really nice plays. Especially with it being... Like, it's usually maybe a 5v3, 4v2, and then the team that has the deficit just really, really just starts getting kills in a flurry and just evens it out. If not, makes it, like we saw right there, a 4v1. Yeah, Mortals just, um, I don't know what happened there. I guess they just... They just kind of fell apart after they uh, got control. They just started getting off, you know, nitrous out through the floor. Um, just couldn't hold it together and really had a, a tough time pushing down. So they just couldn't pull it out that round. Exactly, but they can go back upstairs this time. So maybe it'll work out in their favor. And then maybe, just like Immortals, they'll opt to play an offsite. We do see Castle with the EG skin. Really nice skin, by the way. And I don't think they'll opt to hold Admin. Now they're just going to Castle it all. Which, I mean, 
Normally it would buy time, but you have that sledge who could take it down instead of hitting it. Sorry, 11 times? 12 times? I can't remember which one it is. I believe it's... I believe it's 11. Yeah, it's one, it's one of the two. As we don't see an Ash or Zofia or anything like that. Pretty standard picks here, I'd say, for both teams. Uh, kind of just going with the flow and kind of Stocks going to the same thing. Looks like a home shot. Yeah, no, uh, but he just we'll, couldn't get we'll up on the railing. It, unfortunately. That is a really nice peek. Thank you, chat. 12 times. Thank you, yeah, I was just a little unsure. Looks like IQ is going to try to find the Valk cam, but I don't think Valk opted to bring a cam out. Or throw a cam outside. Either way, that IQ definitely should start find it. We'll, we'll definitely find it eventually. Oh, yeah. It's in one of the trees, <laughs> if it's out there. No, but I think she opted to throw it out outside of West Windows, as we saw the sledge shoot it. Uh, before he rotated over to Connector Castle. Monty's up to yeah, see? Monty's already in copy room with two minutes left. And he's going to have Legion in front of him with the Jaeger. Which Legion could... No rotation though for the Jaeger. Legion could go down to Long Desk and bait the Monty. Oh, but Jackal's going to track the Jaeger. Oh, IQ's gonna get the early frag onto the Legion with a minute and 40 remaining. But IQ is gonna take some damage herself. Jaeger. Time to move forward. Alright, I think I just had. Alright. Jackal's gonna get the tracks onto the Jaeger, I believe. But Doc's gonna get a refrag. Or actually, he's gonna kill. Flurry of kills. Sledge is gonna kill. Which just. Dogs. IQ is gonna kill. Castle, but it looks like Twitch it might pick off the Jaeger here as Valk is pushing from bathroom. The plant's going down. Oh, Valk is gonna stop the plant. Still 50 seconds left, though. Plenty of time. They don't have to rush this plant at all. No, they don't, and you still have Valk with that C4. But IQ is just sitting, waiting patiently at Spiral Staircase. Just waiting for someone to go through the rotate hole or through connector. Oh no, she's going to miss the shots onto the Jaeger. But there is half the time gone. Well, Valk's going to get it, land a couple shots, but miss most of them. Oh no, Twitch is going to get the Jaeger. It's going to be a 1v2 with just barely enough time. Oh, Twitch is gonna get a double kill as she does get the headshot on Devalk. What did I clutch right there? Oh yeah, after Valk killed the per jackal who was planting in sight, it was... Maybe if it was further in, Valk could've got it on Twitch, but Twitch was just able to really just walk in, grab it, crouch. Just That's just how close it was to the doorway. Yeah. I definitely think that a, uh, getting the plant down put the pressure on the defenders and uh, made them push forward. So um, I, I do think it was a smart play by them, but I also think that they definitely they definitely could have waited the plant. Uh, not too long, but they, they could probably could have waited a little bit more time. But it worked out, uh, worked out for them in the end with a nice uh, clutch there from the Twitch. Going to be a sack. We're going to see a cap can, though, and a lesion come out from... Uh, HTCB. Maybe because of the Monty, but... I mean, definitely, I think definitely. Valk I was just forced to play something else because I believe the IQ and the Sledge got all three of her cameras. Which was really unfortunate. But... Was really nice on IQ. Part. See if we can see where she opts to throw. Speed up and running. I wish we could see what the cameras see without the players needing to be on... Oh. <laughs> we see <laughs> which I mean isn't bad. That's a nice little spot. I believe you I don't think you can destroy that trash can next to the bench though If you could you could see all the way down to the other um, site doorway, I believe Let's see the deagle with its 
sort of strong destructive powers. <laughs> Cap can <Kinda>. pushing <laughs> a sausage. Okay, I don't think I've seen the sausage being played yet in the summer cup. Definitely could work out for the captain though if he uses it effectively and keeps uh keeps all his uh, gunfights in close range. Looks like he's playing downstairs too, which is probably the best best place to play him with the, with the shotgun. Oh yeah, he can go for that late flank because they didn't bring a nomad, but he still has to go through two two claymores from IQ and Twitch, but Twitch has already been placed. Also, not bringing a hard breacher. Uh, I guess you know immortals don't. I guess I guess they don't like bringing hard breachers. Uh, not bringing uh, the Habana here. Don't know how that's gonna affect them though. We will find out. <laughs> but as you see, Jaeger's gonna get the kill on to the Monty, which is unfortunate with a little less than two minutes remaining. But it looks like Legion's gonna get a little bit of damage done to him. Might have been through an impact hole. So it looks like we see an admin push just from both teams each time. One team's a little bit stronger at contesting it. Or, I mean, protecting the set. Oh, Jaeger's gonna get a couple of shots onto Sledge, but not much to really. Make a significant amount as Jackal will push and kill the Jaeger in admin. We're going to see Immortals, I believe, uh, taking control of uh, admin admin office really quickly. There, Jackal's also going to get tracks onto the Legion as well. Oh yeah, and that's really unfortunate, especially with the wall being so. I think two of the walls are though, so. It could easily be shot through. Falk's got a really nice angle as Dom will pick off the sledge with the C4 from below. Oh, might have been through his own sledge hole. That cap cane is still downstairs too, which... Um, Valk's gonna pick up the kill couldn't. onto the jackal. Oh, the sausage not doing its work, but Legion will pick up Fitly Refrag on the IQ. I mean, we're real, like I said, we're really seeing back to back being taken. It's 5-5. Five five. Not being taken, being traded. <laughs> so they are opting to bring a smoke this time, which they haven't brought since they went downstairs. Looks like the attackers line. Oh, they're gonna bring a Cade as well, which they can get the hatches, but it doesn't look like they're gonna opt to bring a Heart Breacher. Maybe you could switch the IQ. Or maybe the Twitch, because IQ can do it through the floor. Yep, you'll switch the Twitch. Oh, the Kaid's gonna be. We're gonna six. see Kaid. Oh no, we are not. I, I apologize. But we'll. Oh, he will. No, we will see the Kaid. Stick picking back onto the Kaid. Maybe. Yes, he's toying with us right now. I think it might have been maybe a miscommunication, and they're like, "Ah, oh, well, heck, we should keep it. It it could really work for us." They are going uh, in the garage though, so it could work out if he does uh, uh, choose to deploy those electric claws onto the main hatches uh, in the main garage and into the um, the break room. I've never really been been a fan of the TCS G12, but then again, my aim sucks with it. <laughs> That's why. It, they can definitely be a sniper. Um, if the person using it plays with it a lot, I think that they could definitely get some really nice kills and also some really nice long angles, especially in a site like Garage that has some nice uh, long angles in it. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but doesn't it, isn't that a two-shot down from, like, medium range and then three-shot down from long range on three, sp oh, if only he was there sooner and was able to get the angle on the jackal, jackal just ran right by. We are going to, I want to see a kill from that drone hole, I'm, I really want to see a kill from that drone hole now. That would be really nice.
you know, it'd be in like one of the top ten plays of Summer Cup if somebody got a nice headshot from through the drone hole. Oh no, Kaito doesn't know where he is because they don't opt to shoot the all. Oh. <laughs> of course, whenever I say something, they're like, "Oh, I got it. Don't worry." But no, yeah, that would be a really nice kill to see that. And I don't know what it is, but it looks like both teams really don't like roaming that much. Looks like Havana's yeah, gonna try and get the wall. I keep in Monte and already pushing down the yellow stairs after clearing out the first floor within the first minute of, or not even minute, like 45 seconds of the round. Ooh, Sledge is just gonna do destruction from up. Sorry, Jackal is gonna do destruction from above with his shotgun. Which, it's not really one of the better shotguns, but it does make those kind of small holes, so like, like that. I mean, they're not really noticeable, so you can really catch someone off guard, as L's gonna get the kill onto the IQ from Spiral Stairs yet again. Looks like Kai is going for a flank. On spiral. Show me what you can do with this. <laughs> Was that hatch open? It it he could get in he could get a frag on the jackal. Ooh. Habana will pick off the smoke as their only plant denial. Oh, that's the fuser down, Kaid. I don't think he knows. But Habana's gonna get a kill on Kaid and Ella will refrag, but Sledge will end up killing the Ella on yellow stairs. Reloading. I don't think Kaid knows that he has the fuser. Ooh, Habana's gonna get a headshot with the bearing nine. A double kill with that shotgun on service stairs. It's a really nice gun. So yeah, it looks like it's two shot to kill, not two shots to down. Then can we see a triple kill? Maybe oh. he's gonna push back to site. He realizes that hey, both of them are upstairs. They have to have the diffuser up there. With no time left on the clock, he doesn't have time to grab that diffuser and plant. He's gonna have to. Oh, he's just gonna hide. That's unfortunate. And it brings Smart it to play by the Kaid. Um, um, one thing I definitely have noticed from both teams whenever they are defending is that um, it seems like they don't have a heavy room game, um, but they always love to do these late rotations up, uh, like the Kaid did up the service stairs, uh, and Ella will also do it going up service. We've seen Valkyrie do it before. For both teams, it seems like they like to make these uh, late rotations up after they've already established control up there and cleared it out. Oh yeah, and sometimes it's worked for both teams sometimes, but then again, sometimes it hasn't worked. Hold up one second. You're gonna see a Capital being brought, and maybe a switch from the do oh Doc to Maestro. You're still keeping that ACOG though. Alright, so they're going to opt to go lobby, which, it is a good sight. Maybe they're tired of holding upstairs, which, I mean, maybe they have a better strat for here, and they've realized that upstairs isn't working, so we'll see. Yeah, last time, I believe, uh, the first time we saw first floor, I, 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 it was the... Um... I believe it was the attackers who won on the first floor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, first time. I honestly don't remember, but I think you're right. But with Capital being brought, that can really limit things. Because he has the asphyxiation bolts, which can stop rotates. Because they don't have the dock, so it's not like you can overheal and then push. But, you still have that maestro, if Twitch doesn't take the maestro out, because they don't have the sledge this time. So, even if they do fire it, maestro can fix that, and stop any plans. Oh, trying to get in the long range battle with the lion. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get that maestro being upstairs very by aggressive. the IQ. Ooh, 
IQ is going to get a couple shots under the Valkyrie, but Valkyrie will kill her from yellow stairs. Oh, Monty is going to get tagged barely by that C4. She's going to be tracked by the EE1D. I don't think she knows that he's coming up yellow stairs. Monty's going to get the kill on the castle, but I don't think... Capitale's lit. I don't know if he'll be able to kill. Oh, Monty dropped into sight. I don't think Valkyrie... Oh, Valkyrie knows. Oh, Monty's gonna get a double kill. And the plant's going down by the lion. I don't think Maestro knows. Nope, Maestro's gonna get downed. It's gonna be a 1v3. As Legion does instantly get a refrag onto the IQ. Oh, but Twitch will shut it out and kill the Legion. That is a good first... Oh, wait, nope, sorry. 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> I got it mixed up. Immortals so, having a nice push onto that site, though. With the Montane really just getting into the objective fast and really just putting that pressure on the Valkyrie uh, trying to watch the Montane in the doorway and to the right as well just put too much pressure on her and the Montane ended up getting a nice kill onto her and then you know they just got the nice they got the plant off and uh, they ended up just being able to, to uh, secure the round and win their gunfights really that round yeah and it was really nice by the Capital to sit there at the bottom of yellow stairs and stay there especially after Monty dropped because he was able to catch the maestro rotating to possibly go behind the Monty from piano door and it looks like Capital will be a nomad maestro on to smoke which I mean is a good operator for plant denial but you really have to stay alive I like Maestro a little bit more yeah, because you like, still have those cams, even after you die. It's, it does seem like uh, the Maestro, uh, Maestros for both teams have been, uh, have been, uh, honestly not been able, they've not been staying alive in late round using their Maestro cameras for the plant denial. I yeah, don't think we've from, seen that once. It's from both teams, Maestro just doesn't have any luck. Everyone's like targeting Maestro. Like, all right, Ma Maestro's gotta go. He's he's gone. Get him out of here. <laughs> Especially without the echo there. Especially, but I mean, you do have a smoke, so maybe he can opt to just chill in the little closet next to kitchen. That is definitely a possibility. So what do you think of the Monty? Um, I think he's definitely made his impact, especially uh, there he said about last round, and uh, I think he's definitely been helping the um, the attacking teams, especially since they have not really been bringing the uh, the heart breachers. It definitely helps them push into those stairwells, kind of having having like moving cover and just uh, really just helping the attack without a hard breacher. Right. It looks like Elle's gonna opt to sit on the main stairs, spiral the boat, the bottom side of spiral staircase, which has really worked out for her. I think she has gotten three or four kills from that. I know she's killed Jackal a couple times from there, but it looks like Nomad's gonna go right by spiral and place a Nomad charge on spiral door, so it doesn't look like she's gonna be running out. Monty's just gonna push, but Smoke is not gonna opt to throw any smoke grenades towards Yellow. And Sludge is gonna have free range upstairs, as I don't think we have any roamers. Oh, but Bandit will pick up the kill on the Jackal, which is unfortunate. But the enemy team does have drones, so you can still find out where players are. Monty will get the kill onto the Jaeger, though. Stay behind me. This Monty has been uh, really good at picking off the operators. Um, I guess that's catching them off guard. And uh, turns out it's really out, really working out for him so far. Oh yeah, it's been really good. Oh, Nomad's going to pick up the kill on that smoke. And see, it's like all the plant denials die off within a minute plus remaining from both teams. Which is really unfortunate. Oh, Ella's going to hit a Nomad charge and get taken down. Oh, but home shot's gonna pick up a kill onto the bandit. And it's just Legion left in a 1v4. Oh, but Nomad's gonna get a triple kill as she picks off the Legion going down spiral staircase. Nice push there. 
from HGCB. Uh, really just getting uh, control of everything really quickly, and that Montane just pushing straight down yellow. Really, uh, I, I want to say, did put pressure onto the defenders, not allowing them the bandit trick or do anything, and then, you know, the not so heavy room upstairs. Uh, they couldn't rotate up the yellow stairs because, you know, uh, the nomads and the Montane really just uh, limiting them to downstairs, which really put a hurt on them. So, ended up working out for HECB in the end, which was a nice push there. I with you more. And. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe we've had a map three yet. And with how close these games are, a map three yet in the Summer Cup. A map three yet. But with how close this map is, it could easily go to the other team. It's not over yet, but it could easily go to the other team next round, next map, and then push into Clubhouse. But we will have we to could wait to see. We can definitely see a Clubhouse. That would be a nice, I think that would be a great game on Clubhouse 2. Both these teams seem like they really just know what they're doing. And I'm excited for Border, because that's, that's going to be even better than this match. Oh yeah, Border, these teams, I mean look, you got 14, 11, 10, 11, 10, 8, 7, 7, 9, 10, which is all really good. It's, they're fragging as well. And Border, that's frag heaven right there. Ooh, almost a TK with the D Lord. That would have not been good. Mm -mm. That is something HGCB does not need is a an accidental TK. We'll see if Immortals can pull this one out as they need this round to stay alive for this uh, this match on Counselet. They pulled it out against Index. About a week ago, so let's see if they can pull out pull it out against HTCB this time. This time. Oh yeah, they've been playing really good. Um, in the last three games they've been in, they've really just dominated. You know, coming in as a new team, I believe, and just really making a name for themselves. They have not wasted any time pushing into the building now too. Oh yeah, you already have Monty in copy room, but he does have to get through the castle barricade because I believe there's, I believe castle opted to put one on there this time. No, he did not. Looks like Jackal's gonna That's be, gonna be good intel. Uh, in front office, just waiting for someone to maybe push that Monty. Time to move forward. Enemy located. Let's see what Ella's up to. Oh, she's gonna be sitting in the public. The bathroom with the shotgun, just maybe waiting for a flank, which is good because they don't have the nomad, and you have a Valkyrie, so you, Ella could easily sit down below and wait for a ping to come out and say, "Hey, this guy's planting here," and then just shotgun. Yeah, the definitely. Floor. Could go for a, um, a late rotation up service stairs or yellow stairs. I Kiwi is pushing down the uh, the spiral staircase though. Oh, Habana's gonna get a frag on to Jaeger, but there is a minute left. Ooh, Valkyrie's gonna refrag though. Oh, IQ's gonna miss the shots in Castle and Connector. Ella's gonna come up behind and get the IQ off Spiral Staircase, and Monty will be at 50 HP now. Oh, but Jackal is gonna plant. And Valkyrie will finish off the Monty, and. Oh no, Castle's gonna get the kill onto the planter. Staircase behind him, I don't think he does. Oh, but Legion catches her. And that is a good first map. Home shot. HTCB taking the first map. It was really close, though. So next map will probably be just as close. Or maybe even go into the other team's favor. And we finally see a map number three in collective. Uh, Summer Cup. That would definitely be nice. This was a nice uh, uh, map, though. That was a really close, uh, close, close map. But um, it just both teams—they uh, both kind of played. They, they honestly played really, really similar to each other, I'd say. And it just came down to uh, the the gunfights, really. Yeah, it really did because they were just having 
they both had troubles on the same site. So it really just came down to the gunfights, and it looks like we're going to have maybe someone sub out for that person, but he might have just accidentally left. We will see. So, what are your predictions? What do you think is going to happen on this map? You think... For border? It, yeah, for border. Um, I, I kind of I think we're going to see a more um, one-sided game. I think we'll see Immortals take it. I want to I think we'll see Immortals take it to a third map. I think Immortals, um, I think they, um, I think they make a, a big rebound, and, um, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna say 7-4. Seven, 7-4 four. Seven, four Immortals. I, I think Immortals takes this one back, and we see a uh, map 3. I think we're gonna see Immortals really, uh, push it into overdrive on this map. I mean, hopefully, and... But you do have HTCB that just took the first map, and they could go off that momentum from winning because of their hype. Obviously, you know, you won the first map. You have an yes. opportunity to close it off in the second map here on a frag-heavy map, which they have been fragging out. So they could take that momentum and just go off that. What yeah, do you think I the bans? Like, I, I definitely think, what do you think, the I definitely gonna think we're like? going to see a Thatcher ban. Oh, oh I yeah. think we'll see a Thatcher ban. He's been rising in popularity for, popularity for bans on this map. I think we'll see a Legion ban from Immortals. They have shown to like banning Legion. I think we will definitely see that happen in uh, especially a map like Border, where um, you know obviously you have maybe a, a, a probably a Mirror or an Echo ban, but then you also have the, the Trap Operators, which can really play a big factor in Border. Oh yeah, um, and Immortals does sites. like to bring that Monty, so now they might be like, hey, we can't play Legion in our rounds of defense, but we can bring that Monty and really not have anything stop us. But this is also a good map to ban a Pulse again, so really, it could go any way. Yeah. Also, um, potentially a... Uh... You could definitely also see a jackal ban. Uh, he's become pretty common to see banned. Um, and border can be a very roam heavy map. Uh, yeah, but it from the last game though. It doesn't seem like it, both I of these know. teams roam much. It's more of just flanking, like late flanks, like one and person late rotations. Side. Yeah. So I, with that being said, I really don't see a jackal ban coming out because I think it'd just be useless because both. You teams could see really... a nomad. Definitely, definitely I'm sure that was bent. a nuisance to the. A t a defenders, especially with the Ello when she was on Spiral Staircase, she kept getting cut off because of that Nomad on top of the door. Immortals does defend first, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. Immortals, you could definitely see a, uh, a ban from Immortals on the Nomad, not having to deal with the Nomad. Um... Yeah, I think you'll, I think you'll see a Thatcher, Nomad, Legion, and um, probably an echo. I, I say an echo or a maestro. Right. Just get those plant plant denials off the board, especially you know maestro with his cameras. Um, if you can have them watching the armory locker armory locker's wall, uh, which would be really impactful. Echo, you know, you mean they they they're basically act like cameras after their daddy anyways either. So, I think both of them have lots of utility, and um, we could definitely see them try to come off the board. Alright, I just got a message from Homeshot saying they are subbing their fifth out, so they're just waiting for him. But yeah, I definitely agree with you, but I don't think the blue team will, or <laughs> the blue team, I don't think HTCB will... <laughs> will go to opt for the Echo Band because they have really been playing a strong IQ. She's been really good at getting the true. kills and getting gadgets and stuff. So, we'll have to see. I mean, you could see, put I, that... Honestly, with Maestro being played as much as he was uh, mm -hmm. last game, you could, you see, could him see him being banned. banned. Too. And then, hey, that yes, that leaves an Echo, but... 
all five of your operators can shoot that echo drone. Both of them. Both of them. Alright, looks like we're gonna have Natsu sub in. <laughs> I probably got that name wrong and slaughtered it, but... So I think that's waiting. right, Natsu. If you guys are just tuning in, we do have HTCB versus Immortals. HTCB did take first map, 8-6. It was consulate. Now we're on map 2, which is border. I'm sure we'll be starting any moment now. If you missed it, you missed a really good map. But I'm sure this map will be honestly just the same they're really they're really both good teams just going against each other and they're trying their hardest to take it then to the next round and even if you do lose unfortunately you lost but you still do have the redemption bracket and you can really show off your skills in that as well i mean if you made it this far you you obviously have some skills <laughs> So it, it's going to be unfortunate for one of these teams to have to go to the redemption bracket. But it's good that they went there playing their best. So it looks like we're just waiting for a home shot to ready up and then we're good to go. Maybe they're just trying to spend an extra couple minutes just talking about, hey, maybe we should ban this. Maybe we should do this. Just talking over to the team with the strats and stuff. That was a very um, nice match, though. Oh, yeah. Definitely like, could have gone either way, I'd say. For my first game to cast, that was a really great game. Like, it just kept... It kept me pumped, like, I've just been on the edge of my seat, like, whoa, okay, this is really good. Alright, looks like we are going to have all ten players ready, so it looks like we're starting this map, map number two, border. HTCB will attack first. So yeah, like we were saying, I think definitely that Thatcher Band, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, I, I definitely think we will see a Thatcher ban. Or maybe a Thermite ban, because Habana is easy to Kaitrick. Or Bandit. That is true. Yep, there's that Nomad yep. that you were talking about. Yes. That was, uh, I believe that was a smart ban coming from Immortals. Uh definitely gonna help them on their rotations you know surprisingly enough I don't really see a buck ban that much which he's really strong on this map yeah especially whenever he is uh, attacking on the bottom floor Montaigne coming out for the ban though I do definitely think that Montaigne ban is impactful um, I think that will definitely change the way they're going to attack without the Montaigne on their side. Oh yeah, and it looks like we might have a Mira ban. No, oh, the Echo, which maybe Maestro might still be in play. But they can opt to bring a Twitch, or a Thatcher. You have Thatcher and Thermite available now. So I think we'll see a Legion ban right here. That this leaves is a Mortal the Mira. Banning. So we'll have to yeah. see. Yeah. Immortals like do definitely want to try to use that Mira deciding on it oh a valkyrie a valkyrie so that does stop that does take away a c4 and three extra cameras but you have maestro and mira on the board so it looks like the defense might be a little bit stronger as the monty and nomad are gone but the attackers do have the thatcher and the thermite which is the best duo in the game besides Finca and Blitz. <laughs> we are going to see Immortals bringing the Mira and the Maestro right out the gate going on bathroom and tellers. 
And there's the Thatcher and the Thermite. Finca. Wonder if Finca's got the shoddy. <laughs> If you're gonna play Finca, you gotta play. You gotta play the sausage. You have to. <laughs> That's like the unwritten it's rule actually, of playing Finca. It's actually like a rule. Um, <laughs> you have to play the sausage. You have no <laughs> choice. I really like Maestro's shotgun, really like by the way. I think it's really good. Definitely has amazing utility. You know, it's okay. it's it's you know walls are gone instantly whenever there's the. I call it the A12 because that's what it looks like. I don't actually remember the exact name for it, but yeah, yeah it looks either. like it looks like they might be holding upstairs. Or wait, <laughs> never mind. Sight's upstairs. Of course they'd be holding upstairs. Oh wait, no, sorry. Sight, sight is downstairs. Isn't bathroom sight tellers. is downstairs. Never mind. The sight isn't bathroom tellers. I think that's. I personally, coming from a team that uh, has an amazing back controller shot, I love this play from them. I absolutely love this play. I'm really liking the setup we're seeing here from Immortals. It's really nice. You have the hatches open. You have that Maestro Cam watching Armory. So it's like, hey, you come from this way. We got you. Oh, straight to sight. We have two hatches open. We have holes in the floor. We can, we can really stop your push. Let's see this thing. Oh, she's gonna opt to take the LMG, which is still unfortunate. A good gun, but the sausage for the win. Definitely, the sausage is amazing. An amazing weapon. The oh, only yeah, weapon I, she's on Finka. I have to agree with you. I couldn't agree with you more. Oh, mute is just gonna open up the the window and the wall. Oh, they're gonna opt to leave the walls soft. So not a think... not a terrible play right there for them. For Looks leaving like that soft. Thermite might be the only person with breaching cap capability. Yeah, he is. So they could easily just shoot a thermite charge. So that's really gonna prevent them from pushing in. But it looks like it won't. Unless if the mute upstairs is watching it. No, he's not. He's going to let it happen. Thermite does have the diffuser. And with a minute and 30, he's like, hey, nobody's in the site. Maybe I can go for a plant. Castle's going to pick up the kill on the Twitch. I really, I'm really liking this hold that I'm seeing from Immortals upstairs. Seems really Entirely nice. vertical on this hold. It really is, and even though they have that wall open, they have Mira right there. Oh, Mira's gonna get down though by the thermite. For me, but you still have three players upstairs, and Jaeger's holding the armory stairs, metal stairs. So if anyone comes to flank around to that way, you have Jaeger right there. Oh, Thermite's gonna get the plant. plant is going down. Sledge is gonna pick up the kill on the mute. Looks like the plant is gonna be successful. Sledge is gonna get another kill onto the castle. Oh, Sledge gonna get a triple kill onto the maestro. Oh no, a little bit of friendly fire action going there, but IT with a double kill. It's completely doable, but you do have Finca upstairs. Oh no, sorry. You do have Jackal upstairs, but Finka will close out the round. It was a really nice uh, round by Home Shot with a triple kill. Okay, I think they just got a little too distracted um, uh, from you know the push upstairs. I definitely do think it was a nice push and readjustment though from HGCV to start instead of pushing all the way downstairs, they started pushing upstairs and really just applying pe a pressure onto the office. Uh, which made it really difficult for them to watch the, uh, the floor below, which allowed Thermo to really just get the plant off quickly and sneak in there. And it looks like they're going to opt to go back to the bathroom again, which it really did go in their favor. They just really lost upstairs a bit earlier than I think they'd like. So I think they're like, all right, hey, let's bring a lesion this time. Let's slow them down a little bit more. But then again, you do have that Thatcher. He could take out your lesion mines. Oh. Pretty easily. He doesn't even need to shoot at him. He just needs to chuck an EMP at him and, well, bye-bye.
Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that we did not see the Thatcher banned though. Usually he's a, a really common pick to ban on a border. Oh yeah, but maybe after last round they're like, hey, this Monty and Nomad is a nuisance. They're really cutting us off. Yeah. And hey, they're like, all right, well, let's fix that. Let's just ban them. Because it does look like Immortals is going to choose to start playing upstairs again. So, you know, they have a bit of that roam. They can freely move around. You know, they still have to watch out for the Claymores and stuff, but they're opening all three hatches upstairs. What, four, five, if they are to open up um, CCTV hatches. I mean, Mira might be doing a run out or prepping yeah. for a later run out. Looks like gonna they're gonna be the going shows. back to bathroom tellers, trying to just. I it's maybe they're thinking that you know, they're. I guess they're, they're thinking that HCV won't expect it again. Um, not sure though. They're going with the exact same lineup, so. Yeah. See never how this know. one plays out. I wonder if they have that wall soft again. I don't think we'll be able to find out, as it looks like all the members are upstairs, except for Legion. He's holding off in the workshop. But yeah, everyone else is playing upstairs. I don't think Mira knows that he's on AC units. But she's just going to opt to go back to her Mira. Which she can easily throw a C4 over there if it gets contested. Thermite's going to be at office window, I believe. That's just already going to hit the wall. Guess it's not going to go off. I don't think you can mute trick. Sorry, I must have got that wrong. Thatcher must uh got something else. Thatcher's uh, pushing an armory on the way across the map, so I don't know if he's gonna try to still get that uh that wall open. Which is right next to the rotator. I don't think Legion knows. Just take that drone in there and distract Legion. Oh, it's unfortunate that Twitch will kill the Legion, and she does. If she opts, she will have control. Oh, she's gonna put a claymore below the hatch drop. She could easily have control. She doesn't need to watch out, though. That get the kill on Demira, but Jaeger with a double kill onto the Twitch and the Jackal. I don't think he knows about the claymore. He doesn't know about the claymore. Oh, Dom's gonna get the kill. And then. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh, Finka with the final kill onto the mute. I was reading the name backwards for the kill feed. Let's see if they choose to go bathroom again. Oh, they're gonna go. Voice crack. They're gonna go up to second floor armory lockers and archives. Uh, it was questionable for them going back to back in bathroom. Uh, it did not end up working out as. I guess HTTP, HTTP was not caught off guard by it, uh, really just adjusting to it, um, joining out, and just doing, you know, doing what they're doing, and it was a nice push from Twitch, getting the early kill onto the lesion, and then, um, great attempt though, by the Jaeger, getting a nice flank, but just could not get it done there, Immortals, uh, really putting up a good fight though, both rounds there. Oh yeah. I mean, they've just been really good all throughout this whole, well, two rounds, but in the first map, they've just, both teams have been really good at countering each other, because they literally play sort of the exact same. Seeing a pretty standard setup, I'd say. From Immortals, though, with the Castle, Jaeger, Bandit, Legion, and Mira there. Not bringing the Maestro this time, not going for the double uh, plant denial, but the Legion kind of acts as a second plant denial with his goo mines. Um, but this looks like it could be a ho nice hold from Immortals. I really, want to see, I really want to see that Ash go below and just take out that Mira. Which contradicts what I said earlier about banning the buck, because you could take Ash or Sophia and simply go below. So that's maybe that's why people don't really ban Buck. And you do see Legion trying to get the run out on anyone who's repelling or on a drone down there. Oh, Legion yeah, will get the kill on the Finca. 
attempting the run out a second time and it is successful but it will take a couple shots Yeah, this yeah, one, like, as you were saying with the buck man, there is a lot of alternatives to the buck, like the Zofia and the Ash, as you stated beforehand. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Ooh. Ash got off the angle at the wrong time, and Jaeger punishes her for it. That Ash down to around 20, 20, 15 health, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's about 15 HP. Ooh, Legion's gonna get a second kill onto the Thatcher here. And there's still a bandit, but I don't think... Oh, a triple kill from the Legion, but he's going to get shut down by the Thermite. That mirror is... Damage open, is already though. done, though, by him. The C4 looks like it might come through. I don't think he knows. Oh, she opts not to do it. As the Ash is going to pick up the kill on Legion and then instantly refrag by the Jaeger. And then Mirror's going to get the final kill onto the Thermite. That was a nice hold right there from Immortals. Really just, um, I'd say they, they definitely got more aggressive on that hold there with the Legion picking up a big 3k before getting refragged, but doing enough damage, taking out three players of HCCB, just really hurting them in the long run, not being able to really push with the manpower and um, having to really push separately. Oh yeah, in this site right here, if they go upstairs like they were playing like playing above upstairs like they were when they opted to go bathroom, this one's easier to watch from above because you don't have those that stupid ceiling fan that you can't shoot through. Or you know, you don't have a cutoff to how far you can break the floor. You can break literally above every spot almost. So you don't have that cut off, yeah, don't have true. any limits, so you're like, hey, yeah, I can watch this angle from here, because it's so much safer for me, and potentially, they can't really see me. So, it, it all depends if they opt to play it upstairs or not. And they are bringing the Legion Smoke and a Maestro to help with the plant denial. I believe that's what, three plant denials like they're on the board rotate, for rotate. Immortals. Bathroom, maybe castle it, just castle it, you know, and maybe they might castle tellers. Looks like they are. But with an ash being played, oh, they did bring a buck as well. So with an ash being played, who is you doing a run out? Yeah, you cannot do a run out, he doesn't have any impacts. <laughs> Let's see what Twitch is, Twitch is just gonna save her drone. That's a smart play by the Twitch to, you know, save the utility on her drone. Oh, yeah. Because you still have both Maestro Camps are placed now. So you could potentially get one. Hopefully two if you're the Twitch. Looks like both hatches will be soft and we don't have any roamers. Besides Jaeger in Central. Towards the tension. Oh, uh, looks like he's just gonna stay next to the tension in sight. Really. Oh, no, he's gonna go up east or stairs. Maybe hold CCTV and pick off the butt. Oh. He's just gonna say, you're being really aggressive. Yeah, I think he just said, screw it. Looks like we might have one person upstairs, though. It'll be the castle to hold off two people pushing CC above and then one person pushing in two offices from each stairs. But yeah. Speaking of Buck, we are seeing a Buck come out this round. He's pushing CC, though. Uh, maybe trying to put pressure onto custom inspections. And Ash is gonna pick off the kill onto the only roamer upstairs in Armory. And she's just gonna go, oh, she's gonna destroy the team drone though. But she'll pick off the kill on the smoke and get the double kill. Really nice place. Twitch is gonna push in from East Stairs. Ooh, Maestro might be, oh, I don't think he knows. That thermite is over there. Or, I mean, sorry, Thatcher. Oh, Buck will pick off the kill on the Maestro and make it a 1v5. Oh, but Sledge will pick up the kill onto the Legion in sight. And that is a flawless round from HTCB, and they're really showing dominance on Borders so far. Yeah, they have really just been winning their gunfights. It seems like, uh... You know, Immortals is having a hard time winning the the the, the other sites other than, of course, uh, Armory Lockers. Armory Lockers is probably the best. It's definitely the best site 
on a border, but still having a tough time really trying to hold down upstairs mainly. That's where they've mainly struggled uh, from bathroom and from vents. Not really showing uh, any dominance upstairs, only having one roamer upstairs, which was the like, castle. Um, I think that's definitely kind of hurting them just a little bit. Looks like there's going to be a cap can brought into play. But yeah, say they lose this round, it's 4 1. But you do get to go back to the site that you won. Make it a 4 2, which is not a bad split, especially if you're going on to attack. Yeah, and on a map like Border, it can go either way because it's pretty even with the attacker and defender you know it's not I wouldn't say it's heavily one-sided in either favor oh yeah it's it's just honestly really whoever hits their shot and lands their shots and makes it happen honestly they, right now HCCB has just been yeah they, they HCCB has just been really hitting yeah. their shots it looks like the switch one will get taken out, but it did destroy the only camera looking into sight. Oh wait, no, sorry, you do have the one um, right next to Tellers watching. Uh, B doorway. They're bringing a cap can too, uh, which is in. So we did see what once last uh, last game was a shot uh, with the sausage, but um, yeah. seeing him now, even though the the Montane is off the board, I mean, does make me curious. Capcan kind of made an impact in winning one of the rounds. He killed one person with the C4. He also brought the IQ very low on Spiral Staircase with the Sausage. But it looks like he's not bringing the Sausage this time. I don't think you can put a... Capcan trap there. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we're going to have two roamers upstairs. I think this is definitely a, a better play from Immortals to have... More, sta uh, more more people established upstairs on a fence hold, and they have hatches reinforced too. Sadly though, both Twitch drones are down, so ADSs will have to get burned out or shot. But you do have a national buck, so they can easily do that from above. And you have a Thatcher. Yeah, that is going to make it more difficult for them to try to get nades into the objective. Ooh, Buck is just going to miss the shots onto the bandit and armory. Ash looks like she might blow it up from downstairs, I believe. Yeah, she will. She'll opt to actually go downstairs and blow it up. But I think Cap... Ooh. a nice spot. Like Thermite's gonna be hitting the wall upstairs though, and potentially push Bandit back. And Thatcher's gonna get hit by one of the Capcan traps, and Bandit's gonna get the kill onto the Ash from Armory. I don't think the callout came out. That that Bandit in Sandwich could get another oh. here. Ooh, a nice shot. Oh, shot. That was a nice shot. That really was a nice headshot onto the Twitch. Is gonna get lit by the Capcan, but Thatcher's gonna push up and help. I don't think Castle, or sorry, I don't think Capcan knows. But he has pushed back, and he is ready for potentially. Just that, oh, he sees the Thatcher. Thatcher's gonna go to the to the wall, but he will miss all of his shots, and the C4 is gonna miss. Oh, he will down the Thatcher, but I don't think he knows that the Twitch is pushing up on him. Oh, he will now. Twitch will shoot the Capcan trap, and he does secure the kill. Oh, oh, he's gonna get a double no, kill, and Twitch. Thatcher is still down. I don't. He doesn't know where Thermite is though, and he does have the Diffuser as it's now a one v four with the triple kill. But Thermite will shut him down upstairs in Armory. But Jaeger is close behind, and I don't think that Thermite knows this could potentially be the downfall. Oh, I think Thermite heard some shuffling, but Jaeger will pick up the kill onto the Thermite upstairs in Armory. Really nice round. Cap can just really held it out there. That, Bandit got the yeah, kill that as Twitch. Well. That Twitch had a really big opportunity to kill the Cap Can and get the revive off on Thatcher, but just could not land the shots on the vault animation. Really just kind of messing him up there. Yeah, it really did. Cap Can with a triple kill that round. That was really nice. He just he held it. He stayed calm and collective, and he just. Held his ground and stopped, poten stopped potentially 
a lot of frags coming out from the enemy team from having complete yeah. control of upstairs. We're gonna see the mirror and the maestro and the legion come out from uh, I believe that's Immortals. Could if they do win this round there, especially going on armory lockers, they can go into half with a three three split, which would be great for them going into oh, yeah. the attacking rounds. It was a three three split first round. It looks like Ash will be switched for Capital and they will opt to actually being a bring a Ying this round. What do you think of that? Um, I think it's gonna be tough. I think that they definitely need to get those ADSs as fast as possible. Um, if they wanna use the Ying to hundred percent effectiveness. Um, that Thatcher could help with that, but, um, Ying is definitely gonna be impactful if her Candela's, uh, survive and get, don't get zapped out of the air by that ADS. Exactly, and you didn't opt to br and they didn't bring a Twitch this time, so you're gonna have to rely on that Thatcher or shooting it, which could potentially get yourself killed. So, the safe bet, rely on the Thatcher, and... Or they might just, you know, thatch the wall, get inside, you know, thermite it, and then throw the yings in. Yeah, uh, can the, the candelas can definitely be really impactful, um, especially if the plant's going down or before plant. If you are a ying, then you know, throw down the candelas, and uh, you know, just you know, while you're planting, the candelas go off, so they they flash them trying to push you. Ooh, looks like Thermite. Oh, really run out's gonna point. happen, and Thermite will get lit. Run out from East Stairs. Oh, he is a one shot. That is. He's about 30 HP right there. That is not good. It's really With unfortunate. The thermite. But the Thermite's still on the board, so potentially he could still get that wall. And it looks like Jaeger's gonna run down to Supply Room and maybe wait to hear a repel and then run out. But I don't think we. I don't think they yeah, have any roamers. Other roamers, sorry. Oh, Legion's gonna get down, throwing a Goomine outside. But the pickup will happen. Oh, only if Capitao shot a firebolt through. He is running that LMG though, which could uh, definitely pick him off, and then that might have uh, oh, landed the mirror. Mira on will the go down. Oh, but Capitao will pick up the refrag. Quite a delay. I hope that was a nice fine. shot, though, by the Legion. A really nice shot. That was a nice angle as well. And it looks like the Maestro Camp's going to try to take out the drone, but have no success. It's like ITP's just going to play below CCT. And maybe hope for some... Bandit's going to pick up the kill, though, on the Capital. Oh, Jaeger's going to pick off the sledge on uh, Metal Stairs. The Ying really coming into play here. Bandit's gonna pick up another one, but Jaeger will come through and rotate back to site and pick off the final attacker. And, like you said, they could bring it to a 3-3 split, and it is a 3-3 split, just like first map. Which is really good for them. You know, it's not really momentum on either side. It's more so, hey, it's pretty even, so... If we want to try this and see how it works, let's try it and see how it works. It could work really great for us. And we could risk that one round. Ooh, looks like we'll have a cap can. Okay. I thought finally the Lord was going to be brought out to play. Unfortunately, the wrong Russian being brought out. <laughs> no, he's going to six pick to the Chanko. <laughs> no. But let's I hope. Really... Well, it was a blitz. A blitz, I think what this is the first blitz, unless it's a six pick, potentially. Oh, I don't know, hold on. That blitz could definitely either stay or get six pick, and it will get six pick to the Twitch. Especially with the Cap Can and the Jaeger, Legion, and Mira. Really, the Twitch is uh, probably a really good pick to help counter all, all five of the defenders' gadgets, really. Exactly, and like how we were saying that these teams basically both play the same just look at their lineups they're literally bringing the same exact operators as if it was the same team attacking yeah that is I definitely have noticed that they they really have similar play style too it's really just coming down to who's winning the gunfights and we have saw we have seen some great shots from both teams here so far see if we can uh, find any cool drone placements oh wow <laughs> 
Uh, no, it just looks like most of them will be watching run out on east. Oh, Capcan's gonna bring the sausage as well. Very smart play there from the Capcan. Um, also gonna have a nice angle that uh, you don't see too much. Uh, that goes to the window down in supply room, I believe. It's a very nice angle, especially if you are holding in the supply room and custom inspection. Oh yeah, it is a really nice one. And it looks like they're not wasting any time. They're just going to drone it out and potentially go into CC. It looks like Ying's just going to push right into East Stairs and maybe push towards offices, I believe. You're going to set up your Claymore. And then, hey, you're good to plant. But if you can't shoot that Claymore through that, because I don't think that railing is wood. You cannot uh, shoot that Claymore. You have to try to vault around it or you know, impact. And it doesn't look like anyone opts to bring, but you do have a sledge, never mind. But there is a mirror window right there, so that could potentially not be an office push just due to the fact of that Jaeger. And that is why Jaeger's gonna pick up the kill onto the sledge. That's your only soft destructive operator, because. Oh, but the mirror window will be popped. But he doesn't necessarily. That have is to also move. your frag grenade's gone. He just, oh, he could easily get the. One tap onto the Thatcher repelling. Really nice place, but Thermite will pick him off, and Thermite will also pick off the bandit. Nice little double. Oh, they're actually going to get the... That will bring them in advantage to even right now with the 3 on their split so far in this round. You know, I think he threw those uh, flashbangs in to stop an impact trick, but I don't know if you can impact trick that. Never tried. But Tharmite is low. Lesion will pick up the kill on Habana. Tharmite hits a Lesion. It's possibly a good game. But Tharmite will tag up the Lesion to approximately 1 HP. Oh, he's actually injured from the Twitch drone. Oh, I don't think Twitch shocks, though. Which is unfortunate. But he's being pinged and possibly could be baited. Oh, Thermite's gonna get the kill, the triple kill. The, mir the Legion Mine will down him. A C4 coming out from below, and I don't think Twitch heard it. I think Capcan's just waiting for the okay to throw that C4 up from the hatch. Oh no, he's just gonna throw it. That could uh, be a very nice spot. Z4 from the Capcan. I don't think he knows about the down. Maybe he's baiting the down. Oh uh, no, all oh, the TK. That is very, very, and that is very bad TK right there. Which now in a 1v2. But Capcan's all the way downstairs. He's gonna have to rotate up. There's no cameras in sight, so he can't get a ping. The C4 is not gonna get the kill, but the diffuser will go down. Oh, but Twitch does have a Legion Mine in her, and she is little to none HP. Sorry, 25 HP. Oh, she's gonna hit the Capcan trap and go down. Capcan, I don't think Capcan knows. He's just gonna go for the defuse. That is really unfortunate for the Twitch there. That Capcan trap coming in clutch for HTCB. Really just winning, actually won the round for HTCB by really just downing that uh, that Twitch and allowing Capcan to just get the plan off easily. Or the defuse off, my bad. Exactly, and Capcan really is a strong operator. Because, I mean, hey, you could be dead. You have five traps that do... Uh, up to 60 to 40 damage depending on what your armor is 40 damage that's minimum and that's a lot that could that is a lot that brings you down to like what a two to three shot yeah, i gap? really i really believe so i mean you really don't see cap cam played much but if he's played right and you place his traps at random and the other team isn't really looking for it which they should be but if they aren't he could really be a big effect on that round. And IQ so, coming out here, six picking from the ash to, I guess, maybe help find those Legion and Capcan traps a lot more easy. Uh, and, you know, really just kind of help them overall. Oh, yeah, and you Sledge and the Buck, who can easily go upstairs and just make holes all they want. They just have to get through. Any roamers potentially Jaeger and Castle because Castle's played upstairs before. 
And it looks like they're gonna opt to do what they... Or actually, it looks like they're gonna opt to do what Immortals did. And just do the rotate hole and maybe castle off um, the tension and... Um, sorry. The tellers. <laughs> I do believe... Yes, last time... Uh, the castle did... Uh, wait, last time, I do believe the first time that... Um, that we saw immortals go and then the castle was the only rumor upstairs and then the second time the castle um castled off upstairs and um had two i believe people upstairs holding the uh, top floor and they ended up winning that round i yep. believe so it, was banded in the it cap definitely game. yeah it uh it definitely made a really big impact so i want to see if they do the same thing and kind of have a heavy control upstairs or if they're gonna go for a light roam upstairs and just try to hold down sight i mean we'll find out but right now it looks like only jaeger might be roaming but it's more towards sight it's not really upstairs yeah you're really down only, customs only jaeger's roaming so that i don't know if you caught that but we did see a castle, um, prepping a castle barricade for, a, a, like, a break. Oh, yeah, maybe for after the plant, for a run out. You know, just knife it once and just be like, hey, I'm here. It looks like, oh, castle will pick up the kill through the knife hole on the IQ, which is pretty depressing. Oh, Cap can or, yeah, Cap Can's gonna get the C4 kill onto the Habana. But you do have two operators who have soft destruction and everything above sight. Buck will pick off the cap can. Everything above sight is destructible. And Legion will take some damage being at 15 HP. No, 25, sorry. But it looks like they've really established their dominance upstairs and they are starting to break holes. They can't get the hatch. Oh, wait. I think one hatch is already opened. We won't be able to tell from right now, but... Yes, one hatch is opened the in the small office. Oh, I think she's just gonna ignore it. Oh, nope, she'll get the headshot onto the lesion. And then, oh, she'll pick off the Jaeger as well. Oh, no, sorry, she'll down the Jaeger, but Mute will get the refrag instantly and potentially same as teammate. But there is one in customs, so. Looks like the customs person will not push, but Buck will push down. And Mute will pick up the Buck with a nice little headshot. The last person is upstairs and it's sledge and he has time i do not know if he has his nades he has one nade left with jaeger and mute being so low that could be beneficial but mute will get his fourth kill of the round and take it for his big team. round for mute oh really, a nice you know, angle saving the teammate oh yeah way to kill the twitch especially after she killed your legion and then was pushing to get the um jaeger oh looks like they're gonna go bathroom tellers instead of customs which i think customs personally is a better site but hey maybe they have a better strat so it's interesting that they're going here yes i do i think customs is probably the safer pick but bathrooms if if you have the right strat for it definitely can work out for you you are right i couldn't we agree are... with you more we are going to see the. I believe this is a versus Sophia we are going to see potentially. No, we are not. It's a sixth pick, to, I believe, to Gridlock from that Sophia. Yeah, see, she's Really, I'm not sure why second. we haven't seen. Not sure why we haven't seen a, a, a Zofia more. Um, I guess maybe Team's not really finding a use for her, but Zofia can definitely be an impact operator, but so can Gridlock, so we'll see how this Gridlock does and see if she can really use her track stingers to their full potential oh yeah gridlock i mean if you opt to bring that shotgun that's a really nice shotgun i think mute brings the shotgun as well yeah so he's just gonna be able to open holes in the floor maybe just like immortals did hold it the same exact way i don't think jaeger opted to bring a shield though so i don't think they'll have a shield in play no they will not have a shield in play so i mean it'll be interesting to see but I think they can, I think they'll space their players out more to where they don't need that shield. They don't need that maestro cam that Immortals opted to bring when they held upstairs. Yeah, um, 
the legion really being the only plant denial uh right now for uh or ht uh ht so really kind of uh hoping we can see the um see what this legion can do with his goo mines and uh, where he is playing exactly and hey guys if you're just tuning in this is immortals versus htcb this is map number two htcb did take console at map number one eight six and right now they're looking a little bit dominant but it is five three easily come back what we'll see what happens it looks like twitch is just looking for any roamers maybe not worried about gadgets yet But you do have the M249 with a Capital, which is a really strong hitting gun. It's going to hit one of the Legion Mines, but Sledge will pick off the castle. So that's one of the people holding upstairs. Oh, I'm sorry. Thatcher will pick off the castle. So it looks like they really didn't opt to bring any soft destruction besides um, the Super Shorty. Which, I mean, it's nice, but it's not as nice as Bucks. So that could potentially be a problem. But, Jaeger will get the kill on the Capital, and Twitch will instantly refrag, though, on the Jaeger. But with a minute and 26, you still have that Mira upstairs. And you have Mute upstairs as well, with the hatches open. And you have Legion, so he can be of a nuisance as well. It's doable HCCB for the defenders. is in a good position. Oh god, even though they don't have the man advantage. Oh, they have the man advantage. Well, it's evened out now. 3-3 after Legion got that nice kill onto the Twitch. I'm sorry, Capital. There is it. Ooh, but Thatcher Traxer will pick up the out. kill on the mute. Oh, but Mira will take care of that mute. Or Thatcher, sorry. And that's the Nice user. C4 there from the Mira. Well, I don't think Mira knows that Thermite's behind. Thermite's gonna opt to go up east stairs. Mira doesn't know what she knows now. Oh, but Thermite will still get the kill, and they will have to fuse her with 28 seconds. They have to go through an Im a Legion mine or two, because Legion has no more impacts. It's a 1v1 situation here. 20 seconds, and the plant is not going down anymore. Oh, but the plant will go down now in the default plant spot. I don't think Legion knows exactly where. I don't even think he knows the plant's going down. Track stingers there really, really hurting the Legion without being able to rotate it though. Good luck knowing. Oh, Legion is gonna get the kill we'll with the get gridlock the down. behind. And nice, the vending nice machine. shot there by the Legion. Oh yeah, and you thought it would go towards the attackers after the plant, but Legion is just like, hey, don't count me out. It's a 1v2. I have some time. It was really nice. And this is HTCB going up 6-3 and winning all three of their defending rounds so far. Uh, Mortals going to have to make a really big run if they do want to get back into this game. Because right now it is not looking good for them. And especially hey, with Army Lockers back on the board for HTCB. You can always come back. I mean, it's 6-3. At least it's not, you know, 6-1, 6-0. It's, it's doable. So, you know, you really don't have to... You just need three rounds, and then you're tied up. And it's overtime. So, we'll see what they do. Oh, they do choose to bring a Blitz, maybe. But and a that, Blackbeard, everything... potentially, too. Oh, the Thatcher. So, Blackbeard will stay. Which, he is a good operator for this map, especially with second floor being unlocked. If you get that wall opened, you could rappel up and peek through the railings of that balcony uh the little triangle ones and with that face shield you're like and that hey. someone shoots at you you're like hey i i have a chance to shoot back now because you didn't hit my face the first shot i know where you are now yeah and that black grid can also be very very powerful um repelling onto the sandwich windows or on the uh or or on the uh i believe it's the AC unit balcony with uh on the window there. It's gonna oh, also yeah. be a really powerful threat there, cutting off the rotation. Looks like Capcan might opt to 
blow that floor again? No, he's just gonna... Yep, he's gonna do it again. I... I wonder what that's for. Maybe if he's just gonna sit down below and watch that doorway, but hey, it's working for them, and it seems to be a really interesting strat. So Bandit, not Bandit tricking or placing any of his shock wires. It's like they might just do an offices push as they claim more Teller's window. Mira's gonna take some damage though. Sadly we didn't see that so we really don't know from who. Now we're gonna see some heavy traps though with the Captain and the Legion. Um, we will see if anybody hits the E, uh, E, with not E, when to use the, uh, the cap can trap again. Exactly, Thermite's gonna jump in and get the kill onto the Mira. Oh, Thermite's gonna get a double kill onto both, but then... Capcan will get the kill onto the Gridlock with the C4, and Thermite will be about 30 to 40 HP. But he's already blown into sight with two minutes remaining. So he could literally just run in there and... His gun's really good, so he could really just run in there and go all at it if he wanted to. He's done what he's needed to do. That site is clear. That is and true. They've got a drone there, so they're about to know that. And you don't have any C4s this left. Is... Wait, maybe a bandit C4. No, you do not. This is looking good for Immortals right now. The nice push. Well, but Capcan will get a double kill as he does pick off the Thatcher. I don't think Jaeger saw him run across. Twitch will pick up the kill though onto the tap cam, making it a 2v3. And Jaeger's gotta push back because he is getting shot through the barricade. Oh, he's gonna land a couple shots onto Twitch, and the plant's going down directly behind the bomb. I don't think Thatcher knows exactly where, or I'm sorry, I don't think Jaeger knows exactly where. He's not getting any call outs. Oh, Bandit will even it out at 2 2. And Blackbeard is on the AC units, like you said. He's, he's holding it down there. And with Thermite being so low, this is really doable here. But the Blackbeard is gonna be a nuisance. Oh, Thermite will get a triple kill as he picks off the... He will get a four piece as he picks off the Jaeger and the Bandit. Really nice play by the Thermite there. He really just ran in there, got the... He got the Mira and he got the um, Capcan, I believe, and then he just opened the wall. And then he killed the other two right then after the plant was down where it really mattered. Which instead of being yeah, 6 really got is now 6-4. It really got his utility down there fast and really just uh, was able to use both his exothermic charges. Also, kind of odd not seeing anybody push from the armory, uh, armory balcony. Uh, usually you will see at least you know one or two people push from there, but it looked like there was a it was a full commit to an office push. Um, it did work out then for though, especially with Thermite leading the charge and getting a really nice 4K and uh, being able to use both Thermite charges on the back wall um, in Armory. Oh yeah, it was just really unfortunate when he hopped in and killed that Mira, because that just took a C4 off the board. I don't. I, th I believe it was Jaeger. I think he was in Fountain, but I don't think he was looking at that window. If he was looking at that window, that would have went so much different because your hard breacher would have been gone, and you still would have had the Mira. So that's your C4. But we'll see what HTCB does try to do this time. If they try to do anything different, they'll obviously put that Mira in the same spot. But maybe they'll have someone watching Mira uh, from Fountain watching that window. I mean, sorry. Yeah, it was a nice round though by Immortals, uh, getting a nice, uh, it's good round, uh, but again, uh, we are going to see HGCB go back to Armory, which is not going to be an easy task for uh, Immortals to attack again. We will see though if they have the power to try to stay into this, or will they go, I do believe they do go down to the Redemption Bracket, if they do lose this uh, match here. Yes, sir. Winner of this match moves on, and then the loser sadly does go to the redemption bracket. But you still have a chance to show off your skills because there are still good teams in the redemption bracket. They just unfortunately got knocked out too early. 
I do complete. I I do agree with you there completely. Looks like Blackbeard it's might like opt to try to go back up to vent windows, but it looks like Bandit might Jaeger might get the kill. I don't think oh, no. he knows, but Twitch will pick up the kill on the cap can. Which is unfortunate. He's made a big impact, but Bandit will get the kill onto the Blackbeard, which that's a really, really nice pick. Yeah, a really nice pick. And he might, just might, get the kill onto the Thermite outside. How's that one? Oh, sorry. I meant the Twitch. Blackbeard does not expect in. the Bandit on top of the, uh, the bookcase there. Oh, no, she missed the Mira, and the Bandit will be taken out. And they did watch the window this time. And Twitch will be down 20 HP. The C4 will confirm the kill, and that's a double kill from home shot. And then Jaeger himself will get a kill onto the lion, making it a 4v2. But you do have Thatcher Thermite, a really strong duo who can make things happen. And I believe it is they in the hands of them. Wars. It is in their hands to try to keep Immortals' uh, non-redemption uh, bracket uh, alive, alive right now. Oh yeah, but. If I if this was me, I would love these two operators because they both have heavy hitting guns. I don't think he knows that the mirror is there. Ooh, but Thatcher will get the kill on the mirror, and oh, he's gonna miss his shots to the wall on Fountain. I mean, they have a minute left, and it is a three v two now, which it is doable. Definitely doable then for the thermite and Thatcher combo. So we're going to see Legion sitting in CC, potentially waiting for a late flank into offices because both claymores have been used for Teller's runout and East Stairs. So if he opts to go in, he will without nothing contesting him from doing so. But Thermite will blow open the same wall as he did the previous round. We'll see where it goes from here. Looks like Legion decides not to go for the flank. He's just going to... Chill in sight, you know, barricade things up. I mean, there's 22 seconds left. There's no need to get all aggressive. But even though there is no C4, you do have a leash in mind. But the plant will be going down. It's a 3v1 situation here. Oh, he's gonna get the kill onto home shot. Thermite. Double kill all, but Legion will shut him down. And that's HTCB taking the round map and the victory two. here on map two. It was a really good game, both games, but it looks like HTCB just came out on top. And that is the scoreboard. Home shot and slicks. Everyone's just playing well. It's just people are winning their gunfights. That was a great match right there to see. Both teams definitely played really well, but we did see HTCB take it in the very end there. Oh, yeah, that was... It was a pleasure to cast that. Hey, how you doing? Make sure you uh, include your audio. Yeah, I got it. Alright. How you feeling that? After was a that? great match, home shot. Hmm? Sorry? How are you feeling after that? The win? Uh, I'm feeling good. It was good. Um, I was kind of confused on their map bands, to be honest. Because when they ban maps this, against us, they ban like all the heavy roam maps. And from watching VODs and stuff, they were definitely like a good roaming team. So I feel the really like the reason that we came out like so dominantly in the second map mm -hmm. is because they chose to play border instead of like you know like a bank or something like that. But right. The game it was uh it was good. Very minimal mistake from us. So I'm pleased. So what was it like coming into this map? Or coming into this game, sorry. Like practice and stuff like the that. What game was that like? Just, just, no, oh, what was practice, practice like before this game happened today? We didn't practice too much. Like we didn't scrim too many teams. We had a couple of scrims here and there, and we were trying strats. But uh, we felt like we felt confident in our ability to beat this team without using, like, without throwing the entire kitchen sink at them. So we were kind of trying to save strats a little bit for later games. Didn't want to let and, everything uh, out of your sleeve. Yeah, we did. We didn't want to. Yeah, we didn't want to throw everything out. So yeah, we kind of kept some strats hidden and stuff for uh, for our semis game. Hopefully and it pays off. 
completely understandable. And that's it from me. So, Suicide, do you have any questions for him? Um, I do actually. Um, coming in uh, to a game uh, against Immortal, were you guys at all um, trying to game plan for any specific player? Or was it just kind of for the whole team? Or did you guys notice any specific players that really stood out to you that you wanted to try to maybe shut down or target ban? We weren't trying to, um... We weren't trying to, like, game plan for any specific player. We were more game planning for the way that they play. We, we game plan for, like, a heavy roam, like, a heavy roam take. And, uh, you noticed on, um, Consulate, we we used, uh, Nomad, like, almost every round. Mm -hmm. Because we, we didn't want to get flanked and stuff from downstairs. To deny their roam. A swift from clear. The only time we target banned was just the Montane on the second map because the ma Montane yeah. on the first map was absolutely slamming us. We couldn't really, couldn't okay. really deal with it, so we just banned it. I have two more questions. Uh, one, how, how did the Nomad affect you guys whenever it came down to the ban? Whenever they banned Nomad, did it did you got did it throw you guys off really, or were you guys kind of expecting the Nomad ban? After the first game, we were kind of expecting it, but it did throw us off a little bit, as you can see that one round where Bandit literally just ran through, uh, ran through CCTV and won the round for his team, and he got a double kill on me and the Thermite. Um, yeah. Other than that, not really, because it's not really it didn't really affect us too much. Because after that, we just started running a gridlock, so we couldn't get flanked. There are certainly more okay. difficult for them to flank us. And about that cap can, that cap can with the sausage is that. Was that improvised, or was that kind of like, yeah, okay, we're gonna bring this in, you like, uh, preparing to bring that in going into the game, or was that just kind of on the fly? Well, I don't know. We we use that a lot. Dom's really nasty with shotguns in general, so if he's not using Ella, he's using Capcan. Honestly, I think Capcan shotgun is just slightly worse than uh, Ella shotgun. I think it's still a really, really top tier weapon, just because of all the damage it outputs. You can you can time your shots correctly. You can kill people from like medium and close range, pretty good. So we use that a lot, especially for uh, for border there. So Dom can play. So whenever they, they we noticed they were thermiting the wall in um, in offices. So we had Dom switch to a capcan shotgun, and whenever they would do it, he would play below underneath in the hatch to try and prevent them from running up the stairs or running through the thermite hole and planting. Well, you have your thirty seconds to shout out. Uh, shout out to my teammates. Shout out to, shout out to um, Natsu for filling in while Scrub had to go to a family game night. Apparently, <laughs> that was fun. Uh, shout out to the, shout out to the choir boys, and that's it. All right. Well, thank you for giving us a good game to cast. It was a really good game. All also, right, that was guys. a great shot onto the...